Irrespective of whether you're beating blood-borne cancer or if you're an elite athlete, warming up helps to reduce the risk of injury and gets you ready for your exercise session. Your warm-up should include five to 10 minutes of low intensity aerobic exercise. For example, walking. This could be simply walking to the end of your street and back if it's not too hot, walking around your house, up and down the hallway, around the house, or something similar. If you have access to indoor equipment such as a stationary bike or treadmill, you could use those instead. There are different types of training in an exercise program that have different effects on your body. There are three types of exercise activities included in this program. They are aerobic exercise or cardiovascular training, resistance exercise, and flexibility or range of motion. Evidence strongly links increases in cardiovascular fitness with decreased risks of secondary diseases such as diabetes or heart disease. Cardiovascular training uses large muscle groups and causes your heart rate to rise. This will improve the strength of your heart and lungs, making everyday tasks easier. This type of training can also be a powerful tool for empowerment, impacting, impacting quality of life, addressing anxiety and depression, while positively impacting on fatigue levels. Examples of cardiovascular training include, but are not limited to, walking, swimming and cycling. You should be aiming for between 20 to 30 minutes of moderate intensity cardiovascular exercise on three to five days of the week. This could be continuous or could be broken up into shorter 10 minute bouts. Remember, the goal is to work towards this, but there will be variations individually and your tolerance will also potentially change on any given day. Any exercise is better than nothing, but you must enjoy what you are doing if you are going to remain compliant. So find something you enjoy and don't be afraid to try new things. Resistance training is completed using weights, therabands or body weight. It is aiming to increase muscle strength and endurance. Resistance training can also be useful to increase your muscle mass, improve your body composition, increase bone mass and bone mineral density, and increase muscle strength and control. Resistance exercises should be performed one to three times a week on alternate days. You should be performing one to four sets of four to 10 different exercises in each session. Choose exercises that work major muscle groups, for example, your arms, legs, or trunk, and each exercise should include six to 12 repetitions of the movement. Please make sure you rest for 60 to 90 seconds between sets. In this program, we have three types of resistance training exercises, lying, seated, and standing. Flexibility exercises help to lengthen your muscles and tendons. Joint and muscle flexibility is reduced by some cancer treatments and as we naturally age. Regular stretching helps to overcome this stiffness and minimise the reduction in flexibility, thereby making you feel better. Try to stretch at the end of every session. It is recommended that you select three to six stretches, including stretches for the arms, trunk and legs. Hold each stretch for 15 to 30 seconds and try to do each stretch two to four times. The reason this is best done at the end of the sessions is that your muscles are warm and the tissue is at, is at its most malleable. An appropriate warm down is essential in offsetting muscle soreness and bringing your body back to resting levels. Medications such as immunosuppressants may cause a higher resting heart rate. This could result in it taking longer for your body to settle. Listen to your body and allow for it to warm down completely. Many people skip this component and take shortcuts, potentially leading to poor recovery and in the worst case, injury. A warm down should involve five to 10 minutes of light activity and or stretching. This is an important point worth discussing as it could potentially create demotivation if you're not aware of it. The effects of various treatments may have deconditioned your body dramatically. This could equate to you not getting the exercise gains as rapidly as you may have prior to diagnosis and disease process. It may result in it taking longer to warm up and cool down. This may require additional time and care to allow your body to partially recover. We thank you for your participation and commitment to improving your health and your well-being. We thoroughly enjoy helping people through Fit to Thrive. The outcomes show a positive effect on your life through an otherwise difficult period. We truly hope you are able to enjoy this program as much as I know we both do.